Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about clip art and how to trace it. And somebody sent me this, and it, it was a color picture I've already converted to grayscale, but it's just too fuzzy. It could be worked with. Uh, there are people that could do it for $20 if you really want that image. But if you will go to your web browser and just type in Chef Clip Art Black and White, all these will come up and you could pick one. Now, you need a large file. And by that, if you click on this, this one is 1331 by 1825. That's large. That's huge. So you could eliminate by going right here and searching all files that are large. And it will only give you the large ones. <clears throat> and there's a lot. I mean, you could just keep going and find something that's more relevant to uh, she's doing a cutting board for her sister. And, you know, you don't want anything that's solid black. Um, try to stay away from stuff that has a watermark on it. Uh, I was actually hoping I could find, and if you look far enough, you might find something that's a little more relevant. But I did search black and white, but it comes up with some, some colored ones. And there's a lot of ways you can search, uh, different ways you can, um, you know, clip art, which we're already searching, and, you know, graphics, uh, GIFs, face, portrait, line drawings, <clears throat> and, and we're already on large, so if we pick this one, this one's not as big as the one before. And you could actually use your arrow buttons. There's one we had before that's 1331 by 1825. That's huge. So then just go to Corel, see if I can find it. There's so many windows open. And it's really easy. Let's just get rid of this guy. So your clip art is gonna come like this and it's gonna have a white background. You need to get rid of that white background. So if we go up to bitmap and resample, it's pretty big already. We'll go ahead and make it 300. We don't really need to in this case. We don't need to convert it to black and white because it's really already black and white. I have trace bitmap right here, but yours should be under trace. Outline, trace, clip art. And it's just gonna take just a few seconds and voila, it's done. And there's ways you could have it remove some of the background more, but you've got all this white. Now there's, it's very easily to just go up to object and group and ungroup it. On this, it's really easy to just get rid of some of the white, but there are some, there are a lot of whites. So what we could do in lieu of that, go to edit, find and replace, edit query, and this is 2020, and go to uniform field and double click on the text. And then check that right there and go to the eyedropper tool and just put it on that white and then hit okay. And then find all and then hit your delete key. It deleted all the whites. Now there are some grays in here and we could delete them and see what's going on too. But what we could just do it the old fashioned way. Well, let's, cause there, there's several different grays. One thing we could try, you could take the blacks and let's see what, how big this is. It's, it's, I reduced it to make it better. So it's, it's only uh, less than an inch. So let's make our nudge factor one inch. And let's take, take the black and just nudge it out of the way. And by doing that, we're leaving that garbage. Sometimes they'll come in big chunks. And I don't know that this is easier than um, just finding the grays, but it'd be worth a try. And I, Actually hit that one twice. But you could go through here instead of uh, attaching the gray. Now there's another thing you could do. You could select them all and turn them all black. 
and then bring them over and just kind of look at it, see. It may be too much on his face. Um, you know, we got rid of that. Some of that, uh, I don't like this right here. Um, I wish I hadn't erased my original. I think my original looked a little better. And all I did was, let me back up here a few steps. See, here's my original that I did earlier. And I just erased the grays. It must have been a better trace. Um, get rid of that little speck. Get rid of that little speck. And his face looks a little bit better. You could maybe try, well, see how that all stayed together. So in this case, that would have worked like we did before. I backed up so far, I took away the, but I would still, even in this case, uh, you know, use the smoothing tool a little bit and work on it just a little bit right up in here. Uh, if you have X7 or above, you could use a smoothing tool. Let's make it quite a bit large or smaller, 0.2, and just grab on that and look how much better you make the hat look. Uh, the fold in the hat, you know, this little jagged edge that really doesn't matter because who's going to know? You know, just clean it up a little bit. Work on his eyebrows. And I'm not saying you're going to use this one, uh, but it would be... And what's nice, even though my smoothing tool is big, I'm only going to touch that little part. And if you just barely move anything, it'll look a little better. I think that would look good on a cutting board. And by using a yellow background, you know you've got all the white away. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.